everyone. So, y'all know I'm not into New Year's resolutions, but every year after the holidays, I kind of try to do a cleanse to reset because I don't, you know, I don't deprive myself during the holidays. I have food intolerances, food allergies, but during the holidays, I allow myself to eat what I want in moderation. I don't want to get sick, <laughs> but so I like to reset and I've done juice cleanses in the past. I've done all sorts of stuff. So I kept seeing this one cleanse pop up on my Instagram and all that. I'm sure you've seen it on either some of your social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever. It is the Dr. Kelly Ann Cleanse and Reset. And there's a one day, a three day, and five day. And as you can tell, I am being very ambitious with the five day. She is an author. She has written like the 21 day belly slim down or I haven't read that. Um, the bone broth, she's big on the bone broth um, diet. And bone broth is amazing. I love bone broth. But she has her clients do it in the morning and I cannot do bone broth in the morning on an empty stomach. It's just, ugh, it's just gross. I usually do my bone broth is a mid morning snack, like late, more time, you know, like late, or I do it in the afternoon or evening if I get hungry. So this cleanse is literally, you can take it with you when you're traveling. You could take it to work. It's so easy. And that's why I picked this. Um, there's no refrigeration required and it's five days, right? Each day is ready for you. So each day has its own little box. So you really don't have to think and look, it's literally grab and go. And all of these are like, just add water. I mean, you couldn't get anything any simpler. Now, do they taste good? I don't know. I've never done it before. You're going to do this with me. Well, you don't have to do it with me. You're going to follow me on my journey and I will um, give you an honest review on every single thing in here and tell you what I think. So it says the cleanse and reset contains everything you need for the whole day. Just add water. So it even tells you morning, afternoon, and evening. I mean, that can't, couldn't be easier, right? So in the morning, you start off with your lemon sip. It says wake up with a refreshing and energizing lemon sip beverage. Then you have your super chocolate smoothie. Start the day with a rich chocolate breakfast smoothie loaded with collagen, whey, and greens. I'm a little worried about this because I don't, whey protein, me don't always, if it's a high isolate whey, sometimes it's okay. We'll see how this goes with my stomach, I'll let you know. So then afternoon, you get bone broth. I like that, it's not in the morning. And it says, harness the benefits of bone broth to help you power through your afternoon. Then you have a super berry fresh smoothie. Enjoy a sweet and nutritious midday pick me up with a super berry smoothie. Then you get another lemon sip. Okay, then in the evening, you get lemon chicken soup. Savor a warm, nourishing bowl of delicious lemon chicken soup at dinner time. And then you get another lemon sip. So I've heard that the chocolate smoothie is really good. I've heard the lemon sips are good. I've heard the bone broth is good. And I have had her bone broth that comes frozen and that one's good. So I have ex good expectations for this one. The super berry smoothie, I've heard mixed reviews and I'm a little worried about it. Some people say it's too sweet and some people didn't say it doesn't taste that good. So we'll see. Um, the lemon chicken soup is also one of those things. Some people say it's too lemony. I like lemon, but I definitely don't like it if it's an overkill. And then I'm going to show you what is in. So yeah. So you get your three lemon sips for the day, you know, then you get your super chocolate smoothie and it's soy free, gluten free, non GMO. And you basically 16 ounces of cold water and a handful of ice. Super easy, right? Then you have your other lemon water, obviously. Then you have your delicious and indulgent berries. This one's paleo. Again, 16 ounces of cold water and ice and 150 calories. 
This one has 150 calories also. This one has 11 grams of carbs, five grams of sugar, and 240 milligrams of sodium. You should be looking at your sodium. 22 grams of protein. This one has 12 grams of carbs, 65 milligrams of sodium, um, two grams of sugar, and 15 grams of protein. Now the bone broth is 70 calories, two grams of carbs, no sugar, 15 grams of protein. And you guys, this you mix with eight to 12 ounces of boiling water. And you can add salt and pepper or spices. So I like to add turmeric and I don't put salt in mine, I just put pepper. But um, this has 105 milligrams of sodium, so it's not that bad. I freaking love bone broth. I do bone broth anyways and it's so good for you. And people tell me that my skin looks good and I really think it's because I drink bone broth and I do collagen in my coffee. So I'm getting collagen twice a day and collagen is so good for your skin, especially as you get older. So, and then this is the lemon chicken soup and it has 240 calories. It's also paleo, dairy free, soy free, gluten free, all that good stuff. Um, 15 carbs, sodium is 400, protein is 20, sugar is one. Um, so again, this is a pretty low calorie. You're not really supposed to work out heavily on this. They suggest that you do like yoga or walking. You're not going to want to freaking lift weights. But if you do have to work out, I would suggest probably adding a protein shake on top of that. But I'm not a doctor, so consult your doctor. But um, yeah, this is more of like a non-active week, you know, because you're going to get hungry otherwise. Okay, so the original price is $2.79. It is now on sale for $2.19, but apparently you have to pre-order because right now it's sold out. The reviews are really good. If they're not paying for reviews, we don't know. I'll let you know. And for the shake in the morning, you get to pick between chocolate and vanilla. And after reading reviews, I want the chocolate. Now, they also, like I said, she also has... Um, she has this thing called the 10 day belly slim down, the 20 day bone broth diet, the maintenance plans, and those are all books. But her cleanse and reset, like I said, she has the one, three, and five, and you can check it out on her website, drkellyann.com. And then she also sells her own collagen and her bone broth, and I've tried it, and you can either get the powdered bone broth or you can get the liquid one, which is frozen, and that's the one I've tried, but honestly, I just get my bone broth at HEB now. I'm not spending that kind of money, and I get my collagen from my coffee in the morning, so my creamer, my coffee, that doesn't make sense. But anyways, I will see you tomorrow, bright and early, when I try this, and I will let you know what I think, and then once I'm done with my five days, I'll come back and share my experience with you. Okay, so I'm gonna try the lemon sip for the first time. It's good. I mean, it's lemony, but it's, I can totally drink this. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try my super chocolate smoothie. I have my 16 ounces of water and let's see what this, it smells pretty good. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is actually pretty good. I can totally drink this. Yes! Okay, so far so good. I'll see you around lunchtime. So it is time for me to try the bone broth my hair is all wet i just tried flow therapy for the first time i'm not sure how i feel about it um the time seemed to go really slow at first but next thing i knew the music was turning on so i guess it worked i feel super relaxed but anyways i am going to mix this with 8 to 12 ounces of boiling water and i will let you know how it tastes Okay, the moment of truth. Okay. 
It's a little hot, but. It's good. It's easy to drink. Yeah, it actually has really good flavor. I'm used to drinking bone broth, but I like it. Okay, I'm about to try this one. Whew, not gonna lie, this one makes me nervous. Um, yeah. So it's got like lemon, strawberry, cherry, apple, blueberry, orange, cranberry, stevia, grape, peach, monk fruit. I don't know why they added stevia and monk fruit. I kind of don't like, I actually don't like the fact that it has stevia. I don't like using artificial sweeteners. Monk fruit is a sweetener. I don't know why they didn't just stick to that. Um, it doesn't really smell like anything. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, which I guess is good. It doesn't smell great. <laughs> I'm gonna shake it up and let you know what I think. <sighs> All right, moment of truth. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous about this one. It's pretty sweet. It's actually really sweet. I don't really like sweet stuff. I'm trying it. It definitely has a berry flavor to it. It's not bad. It's just a little too sweet for my liking. But I mean, I can definitely get this down. Like it's totally doable. <laughs> Okay, so I am not going to lie. It's like 4.30, 4.40, and I'm hungry. <laughs> and all I have left is my soup and one more 16 ounce of lemon water. I drank a good amount of water today. Um, like enough that I've had to pee often, but maybe I didn't drink enough. I don't know. I'm going to try to suck it up and just keep going. If I can't do it, I think I'm just going to have like a hundred calorie pack of almonds. Um, I will let you know. So the soup is actually a pretty good amount. It smells pretty good. I just need to stir it better. I mean, it smells okay. We'll see. I got to, I think I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use this to get it stirred better <laughs> and then I will taste it. Okay. It is the moment of truth. I'm very nervous about the soup because I've heard mixed reviews. It doesn't smell great, but It actually tastes pretty good. Some people say it's too lemony, but I don't think it is. Okay. I think I can do this. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish my bowl of soup. Got one more lemon sip. I'm not gonna document like me eating these for five days, but I think I'm gonna check in with you and tell you how I feel each day. Good morning. Okay, so I just woke up, so excuse. Oh, yes. Um, I was kind of hungry when I went to bed. I'm a little hungry this morning, but not as hungry as I thought I would be, which is cool. So I'm about to have my lemon water. I am gonna have coffee. I don't remember if you're supposed to do coffee or not. I should check that, but honestly, even if you weren't, I'd still do my fucking coffee. I do a non-dairy creamer anyways. I woke up four pounds lighter, which is insane. They're like, people lose five pounds throughout the whole cleanse. But I was told that if you have like gut and gut health issues, you know, leaky gut, IBS, that you can lose more. Because obviously during the holidays I was eating foods I was not supposed to eat. And my gut hates me. 
and um, that's why I decided to do this. So um, yeah, I'll keep you posted on how I feel the rest of the day. Like if, I'll check in and let you know if I get hungry or not. So it is like 6.18. I'm definitely hungry, but I'm not like starving and I don't, it wasn't as bad as it was yesterday, but I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat my soup and I still have a lemon sip. So I think I'll be good. And I'll let you know how day three, four, and five go. Wish me luck. All right, so I am back and I should be done with this cleanse. I failed this cleanse, y'all. And sometimes that just happens. Um, sometimes you realize that certain cleanses are just not for you. What really sucks is I really enjoyed this one. I liked the lemon sips. I love the super chocolate smoothie. I actually ordered some of these by themselves. I love these bone broth on the go. It's so much easier when you're traveling. I actually ordered some of these. The lemon chicken soup was good. This, you guys, I think it was day three. I just couldn't stomach it anymore. This basically ruined my cleanse for me. And I almost wonder if I could like replace it and do it again and just do two of these because I would rather do that. But I mean, this just, yeah, it's this berry flavor and it just has natural berry flavors. Lemon, strawberry, cherry, apple, blueberry, orange, cranberry, blackberry, raspberry, grape. Can I, okay, I'll tell you, it was so sweet and disgusting. So it has monk fruit. So why would you need to put stevia in it? Like that's just so gross. It was sweet, and I don't know if it was, is there collagen in here? There's collagen in here, but this has collagen in it, it tastes fine. I felt like I could really taste the collagen in this one, and I felt like it was way too sweet, like sickening sweet. Um, so yeah, my, it's, I mean, it is what it is, right? Um, sometimes you fail, that's just the way life is. So what I recommend this cleanse and reset, that's hard for me because I failed, but I do think it's actually a good cleanse. Like I didn't, I, I mean, you'll, I didn't, I wasn't hungry. I felt fine. These were great. I think if I replaced this with something else, I could have totally done it and I felt fine. Like I had energy. I wasn't hungry. So I, I kind of would recommend it. If you like sweet stuff and you like berry stuff, you might be okay with this. Um, so I don't know. I want to know if you're going to try it. If I totally turned you off and you're like, I'm not trying that cleanse or if you have another cleanse that you like to do, or if you think cleanses are bullshit. <laughs> um, but yeah, comment down below and let me know. I can't wait to see what you have to say. And remember it's okay to fail sometimes. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.